Hey guys, welcome back to Destiny 2 Beta. Um, I'm going to try something a little different. I heard that if you change the date and time of your PlayStation, you can load into strikes and not have anyone match with you as long as you change it right before you launch the event, which I did. So hopefully what's going to happen is that I won't match with any Guardians. I'll be able to go into the strike and kind of just explore, mess around without bringing my team down because I do want to look around but I don't want to be a, a burden or be the the AFK guy on a strike who isn't contributing because that's not really cool so I, I've never done this I don't really know how long it takes before you can load into the strike hopefully it's not too long I'm, I'm sure the timeout is probably a few minutes maybe I know uh, with crucible matches when it doesn't find enough guardians to make even teams you can just sit there forever all right so that was probably around 30 seconds maybe he wasn't too bad so I'm hoping that no one else is doing this little thing at the same time that I'm doing it because it'd be well if they were I'm sure they're probably trying to explore the same thing so it probably wouldn't be the worst thing to be matched with them but hopefully I'm just by myself and I can kind of take my time and just go look around and whatnot see what we got going on. I, I heard some uh, rumors floating around that there was a few secrets. So the when you... Legion has compromised uh, this planet's crust. Okay, just talk over My me, that's cool. Report multiple seismic events across the surface. Analyzing radio chatter. Commander, I believe the Legion is responsible. So, I heard that they, they called they this girl voice the failsafe, which obviously is probably going to come huh. into play sometime in the story. But... I couldn't help but notice that it sounds exactly like the voice of the girl who played the female robot in Bicentennial Man. And it'd be really funny if it turned out to be her. I haven't really researched the voice acting or anything. So I heard that if you spawn into the strike and come over to the right, there's some stuff going on over here. I'm gonna try to skip this uh, little milk lake. Kind of hurts you. I forgot I was using my pulse. Holding down the trigger, like I was expecting something to happen. So if I'm not mistaken, after you kill some of these guys, uh, another cabal ship may drop in, bring some more reinforcements or whatnot. But eventually, I don't know if you have to keep going forward or what the uh, the actual criteria is for getting some certain things to spawn. Eventually, you will see the first instance of the Fallen. Which, if you play through the strike, you know that they don't really have any effect or they don't appear in the strike. I guess I'll just keep going over here. I also heard it's going to take a while to get used to that mantling feature because that's something that didn't exist. If you were ever trying to make a jump and you kind of just missed completely, you were SOL. So there's this big structure. I know that there's a, uh, a way to get around it. I just have to do it from over here. That's, you're gonna get the turn back thing if you go too far on this side. At least that made it. But I heard that there's a few uh, of the symbols if you keep a lookout for the lost sectors that are gonna start appearing. There's a nifty little hideout cave thing, a little divot. Got some cabal walking around. Kind of just looking around, admiring the uh, the Nessus architecture. So apparently, Nessus, aside from being the name of this planetoid moon, whatever you want to call it, is also the name that the uh, the the River Guardian was named in the Hercules movie, and it's kind of funny because that would be the second time I have mentioned. Hercules in a video. 
He was the big, uh... Are, are they centaurs? I guess when they have the, the four horse legs and the human head or whatever. Okay, can't jump up there. I know there's some stuff around here. I'm not very good at the whole glitching or exploiting specific parts of maps. I never really got into it. I glitched into some of the raids and stuff before. That's about as far as I got. They have that pretty handily locked down with the ceiling. Let's just go walk around over here, see if I can get some of those other enemies to spawn. I think this is where this is where I came from. It looks like it. That may be it. Let's go take a look over here. Yeah, so that is where I came from. Got a big open empty space here. It looks like it would be a place where they would have a public event. Got some rocks over there. Looks like a uh, pretty straightforward jumping puzzle. Except for that, I don't know how on earth you'd make that without getting hurt. Takes you over to the other structure over there. So I'm wondering if it's because. I change the time if it's gonna affect the spawns of any of these things. There, try to go over there. Let's just take a look over here. We have one of the uh, launching devices right there. Vex and Quantum Pop Goblins. I haven't paid enough attention to know if the, the uh, that's the name of the regular Hop Goblins, but killing those activates this nifty little portal here. Let's, let's take a jump and see where this takes us. Bunny hopping through some portals over here. There's another one right here, I'm assuming. Killing these guys is gonna send us in a loop back to the other side. So I heard that there's, uh, or at least in my experience, there's been some really uh, uh, some power ammo shortage, and it looks like killing every single one of those guys gave me a power ammo brick. Uh, my monitor's kind of uh, washed out. I can't really tell if I'm. Obviously. So this looks like the beginning of the strike, so I see that ship up there. That is a fallen catch, if I'm not mistaken. And looks like the Cabal are fighting, so I'm gonna come up here. Get some guys. thought I had my sentinel on. I was trying to throw a shield the whole time. I was a running striker. Probably should have checked that before I spawned in. See, so yeah, these guys are dropping power ammo bricks like it's nobody's business. I should probably switch. My, yeah, every single one of them is dropping them. So there's the, the first instance of the Fallen. We got a captain. We got a shank. And he took me out. So hopefully... Dying doesn't uh, ruin this little encounter I got going on here. Kill some of these fallen. Get this captain out of my way. Got some shanks. Got some more cabal. I always thought it was kind of ridiculous though when uh, two enemies are fighting each other. So like the cabal and the fallen in this instance. Oh man, that's stupid. Projection. Whenever a guardian comes along and just starts shooting. 
all of a sudden they both turn their complete and uh, the complete attention to you. I'm gonna try to hang back here, pick some of these guys off to see. Uh, I cannot see my cursor at all. This reminds me of the um, the uh, the enemy moves against each other things that we would get back in Destiny One. So I am colorblind, so I might have to go into the settings and see if they've brought back those uh, colorblind settings. Here we have an uh, invisible fallen. And that was not a vandal. I think those actually have different names on them. Okay. Resilient captain. That is a tanky bitch. Let's see if I can. Uh... Oh, we got a servitor. Just uh, wasting ammo here. Yeah. I feel like that wasn't really doing much. Alright, let's cap the servitor. And the range on that resilient captain's gun is ridiculous. So, let's get this going here. Oh shit! Big motherfucker. I hate. Oh, at least he slowed down by the wall. I hate hip firing, but it was kind of necessary right there. Oh, look at that. I didn't catch the name on that. So I don't know. So this is like a little pseudo public event going on here. That is way too much for a single guardian. That's... Like I was saying, I don't like that they all kind of just turn their firepower towards you. Doing the best I can with this. I gotta change the settings on my monitor because I cannot see my... Uh... There we go. What is that? I, uh, I still can't see the name on it. Marauder. So those, oh, those things are quick. And I'm gonna die again, probably on purpose to burn in here. But I guess they can go fully invisible from what it looks like. I guess the event's over, I don't really hear any gunfire anymore. I see some ships over there, that's where I was earlier, I believe. Yeah, I guess if you want power ammo, the key is to, I guess, glitch into your own version of the strike and uh, do it yourself. Got one of these, the uh, the Vex thingy. I don't know if those have names. I don't want to call it a spire because it's not the little thing that you can interact with. But. That was odd. That's, is that as far as you can go? You can go over here, I guess. So that's the little area I was earlier. There's a little orb I stood on. Got some cabal down there. But I have yet to see the uh, the Lost Sector logo that I heard existed. Let's see if I can make this jump. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. Just fell off there. That would have been embarrassing. So here's the, uh... Oh, there. There. There we go. There is one of the Lost Sector symbols. Right at the top of... Oh, and I got kicked out. Good old baboon error. So, hopefully it puts me back in there. I'm assuming that my PlayStation... 
decided that uh, the timer date thing that I changed did not want me in this lobby anymore. And I got error code beetle. Baboons and beetles. Makes me think of Mega Man. They should do that. Just have like homage codes. Have a Spark Mandrill code. Can't remember the name of the beetle though. I think that was for Mega Man X2. Well, it looks like the fun is over. That will do it. And a weasel. So I just got the whole whole zoo today. If I get back in, uh, maybe I'll make another video later. Or I'm sure other people have found some other. At least we got to see one of the lost sector symbols before it uh, died out on us. But that'll do it. I'll see you guys later.